see the bunny? Do you see it for real? You see it? <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> you guys, first of all, happy June. Happy June. We're in a whole new month. And before we get into all that, first I want to say <laughs> the obvious. I took a month off. I did not post not one vlog in May. Um, but I did, however, post a blog post. That was May, right? I posted a blog post in May. One blog post. I'll link that down below. But yeah, your girl took the month off of May. So April was off of Instagram. May was off of YouTube. June might be off of TikTok. Probably not. TikTok is like my little guilty pleasure. Um, I don't even post on there. I just go on there to laugh. And I have a little timer for like 15 minutes a day and... Anyway, the point is, I'm back by the grace of God. You know what? The thing is that when you are truly living for Christ and when you're sold out, like, consistency looks different because if God tells you to pull away or if God instructs you to go into a season where you're not in the forefront or where you're like, taking the back seat or you're hiding or you know what i'm saying if if god the thing about being sold out for christ and the thing about being a follower of christ and the thing about when you want to be used by christ is that your life is literally not your own so you can think that you're going to be consistent and you're going to do xyz you can think that you're going to put a book out at this in the fifth month of the year and God can be like, hold on, because <laughs> I actually want to add a few more chapters and the book get pushed back a month, two months, a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought that my book was going to be out in May. I actually did all my writing. I sent it over to the person that's going to edit it for me. I thought that my book was going to be out in May. But when you're doing God things and you're not just doing things in your own strength or by your own strength, then you have to listen to God's direction, right? And so the book that I thought was going to be out is not going to be out yet <laughs> because I am, God said I have a few more chapters. Um, so that's what's going on. That's a little book update. Yeah, man, when you are really sold out for Christ, you cannot make your own decisions like you might think i'm going down this path and god might completely redirect you um and so that's the life that we're living that's the life that i'm living that's the life that my husband is living we have decided that not only do we want to follow jesus but we want to do whatever he wants us to do we want his will to trump our will we want his desires over our own so with that comes many things looks different for everybody but for us, or in my case, um, especially as an influencer or a content creator, I'm not the average influencer. I'm not the average content creator. You're not going to see me partnering with every single brand. You're not going to see me sharing every single thing on the internet because even though I have so much to say, it's like I have to wait for God to tell me it's okay to say it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I'm not your average girl. I'm a Jesus girl. Um, another life update, y'all. I had to ask for help. I had to stop trying to do everything and I had to get help. I had to get help um, with Anais around the house. Um, just with everything, I had, to, I had to get help, which looked like her grandparents coming to visit more often, which looked like someone, someone coming to stay with us and to just like help me navigate all the different things that goes into being a wife and mom but also having other things that i want to do and sometimes that looks like someone taking care of the laundry so that i can focus on anais or someone putting anais down for a nap so that i could go sit down and have a cup of tea and do a bible study you know i feel like for a lot of my motherhood journey i was doing everything myself even in my um live girl chat 
uh, life update. I told you guys like I was like changing all her diapers. Well, her dad and I, um, we were the only ones who changed her diapers. So obviously now if we have help, someone else can change some of those diapers, you know? For a lot of my motherhood journey, I was trying to manage everything. I was trying to manage everything. But even the Proverbs 30 woman have had help, right? She had people that she hired to do different things. And now that is my life. <laughs> um, even though the grandparents, they don't get paid. <laughs> um actually they do because my daughter's a treat so it's an honor and a privilege to be around her um but yeah that's a life update i actually realized that not asking for help is a form of pride especially when you need it and me i don't want any pride i want to remain humble have a humble spirit in my first lady voice, I don't want God to humble me like, no, you don't have to strip me of everything. You don't have to break me down, have me out here looking busted. It's okay. I will remain humble. <laughs> um, and so asking for help was me stripping myself of pride. I have to strip myself of pride a lot and like pray against that because it's so easy to like just think that you are doing better than somebody else or just think that you're not as bad off or things like that meanwhile that could be you in a second um i think i saw someone say like don't laugh at the person who who's on the floor because while you're laughing you can trip something something like that they they did not say that i just messed that up but while you're laughing you can trip and be on the floor too you know what i'm saying so be careful there's definitely a scripture it's like be careful to say something lest you fall be careful i'll put it in the, I'll, I'll put it right here um but yeah so i had to I have to pray against pride a lot and ask for mercy and ask for grace and yeah so this month of june i'm really just focusing on jesus using the help that i have and not trying to do everything on my own especially when i have so many like creative things that i want to do um and yeah i think that's pretty much it but today is day one of my church's mid-year fast as you know we are now in the sixth month of the year this is a month where people start reflecting and they're like okay at the top of the year i said i was gonna do a b c d e f i only did a and now there's only six months left this is the month where people start tripping and they're like oh this year isn't how i thought it was gonna be this year is actually looking a little crazy i don't think i'm gonna be as successful i don't think i'm gonna be as blessed i don't think i'm gonna get married i don't think i'm gonna this is when they start tripping okay so if that's you if you're starting to bug out a little i'm gonna need you to reel it back in reel it back in and join me on my church's beginning of the year fast today is day one by the time you see this it'll probably be day two but sis as long as there's still a day left there's still time in the day there's still room for you to join the fast so it is the next day um and i did not expect not to record anymore yesterday but i ended up having to um finish my nice's hair this is her little protective style for the week yes baby it's good you like it it's a french toast stick um so i had to finish her style for the week while she was sleeping and we had to leave for church pretty early and then we had to not we had to but we stayed at church i think we probably left like around i'm gonna say 1 30 um so yeah there was there was no more there was no more to be said but if you missed what happened i'll put the link to midnight prayers from my church um which was last night i'll put that in the description and today is day two of the mid-year fast so we're going hard today show seek a deer wait this is your first time seeing it There's a like. Wait. Anyway, we are heading to Aldi and. It's and you know, I didn't like Aldi before. I liked it, then I hated it. And then. He loved it. And then it. I started getting money. <laughs> Wait. Why'd you hate it though? 
Um, because, well, actually, I didn't like anywhere because I wasn't cooking properly. When I think about it, when I seriously think about it, the last supermarket I liked was in Tulsa. Sprouts? Yeah, like Sprouts. Quality of that food. And then we came here and it was like shop right, stop and shop, or Trader Joe's. Yeah, and Trader Joe's. He hated Trader Joe's. Sick of it. Um only thing Trader Joe's was really good for was like snacks. Um yes baby. Too bad. Um, so a win is a win. Got all of my nice favorites: grapes, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, broccoli, and spinach. She's a fresh produce girly, clearly. And tonight I'm going to. I'm saying tonight, but I need to start it in like an hour. I'm gonna make some fried chicken and. I didn't get potatoes, so maybe I'll make it with rice and saute some broccoli. But let me finish her lunch. Butter pasta with spinach, some tomatoes, and a few different seasonings. She won't eat it up. She did not eat it up. She ate fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you recorded all this. <laughs> she not eat up. She bitch. <laughs> I'm not cooking tonight. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not cooking today. Why well, your little heart hurts? <laughs> <laughs> Your little heart can't you take it no more. It's okay, I'm already getting started out of my way. Yeah, I'm getting back. Getting back right, I haven't made dumpling in mad long. I'm making, I'm making dumpling and sardine, I'm gonna stuff some of them, you feel me? And then I'm gonna make a nice, what you call that stuff when you, when you, when you do the fruit? Tilas. With this? Mazutas. With this? Kadadabashanda. 